Hello everyone. Welcome to grade 3 science. Today we shall be learning about unit 2 looking after ourselves. We shall learn about group of food, a healthy diet and what is an unhealthy diet. We shall also learn about benefits of exercise and sleep. So to begin with, let's start. When we say looking after ourselves, that means we have to take care of our entire health, mental, physical, both types of health. We have to take care of every pillar of a good health. There are many pillars of good health for example food exercise and sleep let's begin with food food is one of the basic and very important requirement of living beings it is required for growth development and wear and tear of the body tissues. So where does the food come from? Well, some of the food items comes from animals like meat, chicken, fish and dairy product. Whereas the other food items comes from plants like fruits, vegetables, grains, and pulses. Nutrients are the food component which are required by our body for growth, development, and wear and tear of our body. They are found in different types of food we eat but not every food gives same types of nutrients some of them gives nutrient that gives us energy some of them helps us to grow some of them prevent us from diseases whereas some of them makes our bone and teeth strong. So on the basis of types of nutrients, food are divided into five groups. To begin with, let's talk about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are main energy giving food. Main examples of carbohydrates are starches and sugars. For example, potato, wheat, rice, chocolates, etc. Fats. These are also energy giving food, but they provide us more energy as compared to carbohydrates. There are two sources of fat. Plant sources. For example, groundnut oil mustard oil, soybean oil, coconut oil, etc. Animal sources such as butter, ghee and sometimes meat is also a source of fat. Proteins. These are known as bodybuilding foods. They help 
us to repair wear and tear of the body tissues. Examples of protein giving foods are pulses, for example, moo, peas, meat, fish, and few dairy products also. A food source may be used as source of more than one nutrient. For example, meat is a source of protein as well as fat. Dairy products are source of protein as well as minerals and vitamins also. The third group is vitamins and minerals. These are called protective food. They help us in protecting our body from diseases. Fruits and vegetables are very good source of vitamins and minerals. That is why eating lots of fruits and vegetables every day is important for us now let's talk about water it is also an important component of our food it helps in removal of waste product of our body it is a medium for many biological reactions taking place in our body it cools down our body so drinking sufficient amount of water is very important in order to be healthy now let's talk about dietary fibers scientists call dietary fibers as roughage it is mainly provided by plant products in our body for example whole grains pulses fresh fruits etc contains dietary fibers it does not provide any nutrient to our body but is an essential component of our food and add to its bulk it helps us our body to get rid of undigested food thus plays a very important role in maintaining good health Let's understand some more facts about food and food products. Food can be put into groups such as carbohydrate, fat, proteins, vitamins and minerals. A healthy diet gives our body the nutrients, all the nutrients it needs. Each type of food has a special role in our good health. So, Eat variety and not just your favorite food. That means we are supposed to eat every type of nutrients and not just our favorite food. Because every type of food has a special role to play in our body. Can you see a food platter? I must say, each and every component of this plate is very important for us because every food item is a source of nutrient and each nutrient has a special role to play in our good health. Each and every component of food in a right amount is important for us. Balanced diet, the diet which contains all the nutrients in right amount and also have good amount of roughage and water is called balanced diet. A balanced diet provides natural disease prevention, weight control and proper sleep without the use of any medicine. A balanced diet is also important because it enables us to meet our daily nutritional need and enjoy a higher overall quality life. So we can say that in a balanced diet or food pyramid guide, it is clearly shown 
the the maximum amount of energy giving food we can have is in form of carbohydrate then comes the amount of fruits and vegetables thereafter we can have source of proteins like meat fish milk and pulses and the least amount of food item which we are supposed to consume are fats sweets and alcohol etc now let's talk about two remaining pillars of good health which are exercise and sleep just like food exercise makes our heart bone and muscles healthy exercise also helps us to maintain a good body weight now even sleep is equally important most school children need around 10 hours of sleep our body repairs itself while we are sleeping so children in today's session we have learned about groups of food and we also learned that every group of food has a special role to play in our good health so we are supposed to eat each food item and not just our favorite food apart from that sufficient amount of water and dietary fiber is also important for us exercises also play a very important role in being healthy a enough and sufficient amount of sleep and rest is also important in order to be healthy any food item which is not healthy is included in junk food item we should avoid eating junk so that's it in today's class i hope you have understood the concept of how we can look after ourselves so bye bye for the day